All right, guys, a little bit different style of video today. I've got these boxes set up here just so we can talk about frequently asked questions, and I will apologize for how I sound. I have a sinus infection that is driving me nuts. That time of year again, it happens. So with that being said, the number one question I get asked all the time is, how long will this last? How long will this battery last? Well, that's a very hard question to ask. I always tell people a range. Generally four hours to 20 hours on a 24 volt, five, four to six amp hour battery. Reason it's so wide, you gotta take in factor what amplifier, what voltage, how loud you have the speakers turned up for how long. Um, there's a, a, even the tuning. If you have the bass higher um, than the treble, um, if you have more bass in general, it's gonna usually use up that amp's going to work harder, use up more of the uh, capacity of the battery. Also depends on the battery size. You got 2.6, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, and uh, really depends on what battery you use. Now, when we talk about 12 volt versus 24 volt, generally we're talking about car amplifiers on 12 volts versus 24 volt uh, small chip amps as we refer to them. You can run small chip amps on 24 and 12 volts. Some of them can run on 36 and some of them can run all the way up to 50. So like the S600X is up to 44 volts, 46 volts, something like that. But with that being said, that is a very hard number to uh, put a, uh, an accurate figure on to make sense. Um, but it is the number one question I get asked all the time. Next, how much do these cost? I don't sell them guys, other people do. I teach you how to build them. Uh, I used to build them and sell them. I don't have the time to do it with uh, work, sports, running the group and making tutorials. I just don't have the time. I love building them for y'all in these videos, but generally speaking, I keep most of the boxes and it's kind of getting out of hand to be honest. So I might start selling a few of the ones I've built uh, on the channel. Now, hold on one second. Um, Sorry. <clears throat> Next, do you need spacers? And when I mean spacers, I refer to these little guys right here, which have the rib notches, so you can place them right over on the box and you don't have to cut anything. This is an LED spacer for a 2800 and this is an LED spacer kit for a Milwaukee Packout. Both available on the website, uh, builtnowboxboomboxes.com. Link in bio, depending on where you're looking at this or the description for YouTube. So, do you need a spacer? No. You can very well use butyl tape, which is a rubber-like tape, uh, seal it. You can very well use this to seal the speaker without using a spacer. Spacers are very convenient because not only does it give you the template to cut out, so you just place the spacer over the ribs, mark it out, and then you cut it out. And it also gives you a nice flat surface where you don't have to fill it in with silicone. So you want to use a good silicone like a Lexale, um, a 3M. So very common sealants used in the group and glues are Lexale, 3M 5200. Some people use E6000, uh, CA glue for mounting stuff, depending on how you're mounting it. Butyl tape is used for sealing around the speaker sometimes if you don't want to use uh, spacers. Now on a spacer, just to add, you'll put silicone on the box, spacer down, silicone on the spacer, speaker down. That will ensure you have a nice uh, weather tight seal. Next, are these boxes waterproof? No, there is no box on the market that is waterproof. Waterproof would mean that water can never get in, air cannot get in, and dust cannot get in. While other companies claim to be waterproof, they're more of a water resistant rating. The ratings are kind of a joke because on TurtleBox, if you flip the, the charging port area, uh, flapper up, it's gonna get water in it, it's gonna destroy it, you're done. EcoX gear has got a plug in the back as well. Um, pretty much not, even I think JBL isn't waterproof technically. Um, they are waterproof when their seals are installed. Now, with that being said, there's water ratings of how long something can withstand it as well. And that's another 
area where some of these fail because yeah, you can sink it, you can float it, you can do all this stuff, but if you actually were to hold it underwater for 30 minutes at a certain depth, would it keep that seal? And that's something people don't understand is if you wanna be waterproof, you're gonna build a, an actual box that has no holes, nothing. It, there's no way to do it accurately. Water resistant, yes. True waterproofing, no. Some people claim they're waterproof. Some people say, oh, well, that's good enough for me. And that's completely fine. But just generally speaking, no, that is not waterproof. Um, because even these uh, Pelican cases, Apache cases, Milwaukee boxes, you put it at the bottom of the water of a lake or something for 30 minutes to an hour, they're probably going to get some sort of leak. But, hey, it's, it's a good sales gimmick for a lot of these companies. Um... Will my LEDs from Built and I Bought Boom Boxes, sorry, I'm reading from a list, take 24 volts? No, I don't use 24 volt LEDs because you don't get as many um, color features for the price point. And you can order 24 volt lights, but you're going to pay a lot more. And some people don't care about that, which is fine. Instead, add an extra $8 and get a buck. So a 24 to 5 volt buck is all you need. 5 volt lights are super intense, bright, look good. Um, just like I said, right here we got two of the bo LED boxes. And they both look stunning. We can do all kinds of different patterns and colors and different things with them. Just like that. So, no, they are not 24 volt or 12 volt. I have done 12 volt and I have done 24 volt, but you'll like the five volt better. Next, do you need a low voltage cutoff with Milwaukee batteries? Yes. A lot of people say you don't. No, it's still built into the circuitry of the tool as well as the battery to complete the on off cycle. Uh, we've had members that say, oh, I've been fine. Run your batteries. About a month later, they'll be like, well, I killed my battery. And I'm like, low voltage cutoff. 14.5 or 15, whichever one you pick. Will the low voltage cutoff cut off when the limit is reached? No, it will not. Now you can get a low voltage disconnect, which will program to turn off five to 30 seconds after it hits its limit, but they're a little bit harder to set up. The simple LVCs, those are, <clears throat> sorry, those are made to where you you set them, when they go off, they cut your speaker off, you realize, hey, I gotta turn the button off. You turn the button off, you're good. Now, I always give a buffer, 15.3, 15.5 for Dewalt because the lower cutoff is about 14.9. Once it hits that 14.9, you might be able to charge a battery, you might not. It really just depends. So always give yourself a couple um, points, five, point six for a buffer on the voltage. Um, next. Why are Polk so expensive? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They see and then the market went crazy. They see that they sell and they went up on the price and they, they kept the price high. That's why. What is the difference in being able to pair 100 versus two speakers? So two speakers is TWS. Truly wireless assist, uh, speakers. Um, I think that's close to the technical term actually. TWS. You can connect two speakers together or two amplifiers, and some of the amplifiers will have multiple channels. Next is multi-point. Uh, the amplifiers that we offer on the website, some of them have what's called multi-point, AP, uh, APTX, Bluetooth technology. With that, you can connect up to 100 like devices together, and you have one uh, main master amplifier, and the rest are uh, Transmitters that transmit, I mean, receive from that one. Uh, Dayton Audio and Wandom have their own multi pair system that can do up to 256, I believe. Yeah, quite a lot of speakers. I don't know anyone that's actually ever done that. And there's other other systems and other amplifiers that you can use. Oh, sorry. Oh, so tired, I guess. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped. I will do more of these videos if we get some likes on this one. So until next time.